What is Crack Lack guys? Welcome back to another episode of Marshall Outdoors. Today we are just driving down the dirt road at the moment. We are headed out to the woods. That's right. We are not going fishing today. We are going to do something a little bit different. You can probably tell from the thumbnail and the title down below that we are going to be doing a catch and cook if we get some. But um, yeah, we're gonna try to do a catch and cook today in the woods. I'm gonna cook these suckers right up in the woods where I'm at. Find a nice little spot. I bring my portable cooker and all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, we're gonna do a little squirrel hunting today. I got the shotgun loaded up. We got the GoPro. We're gonna put the stupid looking head mount on and um, get in there and run around. Oh my God, I see a squirrel right now. Oh my God, I'm not even kidding. You. Oh my God, I just pulled up and put my truck in park. Let me see if I can get him on camera. Right there, right there. There is a squirrel right there. That is what we're here to do. I'm gonna shoot that squirrel right there with my 12 gauge, that's for sure. Um, usually when I'm squirrel hunting, I like to uh, shoot them with my 22 because I don't like BBs in them and cover it all over them, but um, I'm a big back leg eater. Yeah, they're amazing. I know what people are thinking. Oh my God, you're eating tree rats. Well, things are like rats. They're so disgusting. Trust me, I'm going to show you a way to cook them today. And, um, oh my gosh, I think there's two squirrels right there. But um, I'm going to show you a way to cook them today. And um, it tastes just like chicken. I know a lot of people say stuff like that, but I'm not kidding. It tastes just like chicken. So we're going to get out. Um, oh my God, there's another one. There goes another one. Oh my gosh. I see three squirrels right now. Limit seven. We're gonna pop the limit and um, get to cooking, you guys. Okay. Load up the Browning Maxes. Yeah, I like shooting squirrels with uh, heavy loads, actually. And um, I got a sick full choke in here. I know what you're thinking. Holy hell, Nick, that's a little absurd for squirrel hunting. But um, I actually like shooting them in the head and it, uh, doesn't blow them to pieces, so it's actually pretty good. I need to find a hat, and we're on our way. Squirrel one down. It's not my black one, but it is a squirrel. They love these oak trees, man. I'm gonna run down here, see if I can get this black one. I've seen a black one down here somewhere. Squirrels are out in full force today. Here we go. <laughs> first, uh, first squirrel of the day. <laughs> He's a good one. I'll get him in the backpack, and uh, we're just gonna work this little strip down real quick. I seen a bunch go across the road too, so I'm sure they're pretty stirred up now. After that, oh, I love squirrel. Takes me back to when I was a kid, man. You know, it's just it's just awesome. Alright. Got him. Got the black squirrel. Nice, dude. 
Let's go. There's a freaking poor porcupine up there in the same tree. He's probably just like, holy hell. Good morning, huh? Oh, he's on the move. I uh, went for a crazy long running shot on that one. Are we going to hit him again? Here we go. There you have it. We've got the, the melanistic squirrel, they call it. It's a black squirrel. They don't call them rare melanistic or whatever you call them things, but it's just a black squirrel. So now we got one black one, one gray one, and uh, not good shooting on my part, that's for sure. He was on the run, and uh, he just started blowing branches off. We got him, though. He's down, and uh, it's actually a huge porcupine up in the trees. The same tree I shot him out of that thing just woke his ass up for the morning. There we go. We got the black one. Let's go. We got two squirrels. We're gonna get five more. We're gonna cook these suckers up. You guys are stay pretty dude. A lot of times when you're spotting and stalking squirrels, spotting them first is key. Because once they go up a tree, man, these things are sneaky as can get. They got a big open spot right here. I can see a long ways. And uh, sometimes just sitting and waiting until you see them moving around is the best because they hear you coming. These things are freaking slick, boys. I got this big open spot right here, so I'm gonna get like 10 minutes. I feel like we're gonna see a squirrel here. Spot and talking squirrels and talking. They got very good eyesight and they're sneakier than ever. I'm gonna hold up right here for a little bit. See if I see anything. There's one right there. Black one. I mean absolutely annihilated that one that's what I'm saying sometimes you just gotta sit in one spot and chill for a little bit let them come to you man said I was gonna sit here for 10 minutes I don't think I even made it 5 that one just came strolling through another black one I mean I'm talking absolutely dust at that one <laughs> It came running right to me. There he is. There he is. That's a big squirrel there. That's a big squirrel right there. Holy man, we might be keeping that guy. is a big old black squirrel. Big old male. Look at that. I mean perfect headshot. Oh that's sick. That is just sick. Oh man, what a what a squirrel. That is a freaking horse. Is a good one. Heck yeah, dude. It's number three. And uh, we haven't been at it for too long. Little red squirrel. We want nothing to do with that. Those don't taste good. Is he down? Is he down? He's down. He's down. He's down. 
Another black one. It makes three black ones today. That's intense. I don't know if I've ever shot that many black ones in one day. That is sick. There was a gray one with him. But I lost that one right away. So I started working up this thing really slow, up to the top of this ridge. And he just jumped right up on the old tree. Didn't have the best shot at him, but couldn't see much of him. But I had just enough. And uh, there you have it. Squirrel number four. Okay, we're gonna pick this guy up and get a good vantage point. And we're gonna probably sit and chill for a little bit. Last shouty, another big, beautiful squirrel. <laughs> we are on the black squirrels today. I like it. Like I said, usually you get lucky every once in a while and you shoot one or so. I don't think I've ever shot three in one day. I'm about it though. Four. Four pack of tree rat. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm gonna find a vantage point and hang on for a little bit. See if this gray, this gray squirrel will pop back out. Just told myself we gotta start shooting good, shooting good, because we're gonna run out of bullets. And well, we just shot like shit. And we just ran out of bullets. I got the gray. Gray one's right here. Rolled him. Don't know so much about the black one. Finally rolled this gray one though. I'm like the fourth freaking shot. Oh, that's a big squirrel. Oh, that's a big squirrel. All right, let's go down there and see if we got the got the other one. I don't know if we did or not. I got Western real fast. I mean, just started pumping rounds. I was snapping rounds off. Let me tell you. And there's blood everywhere. Oh, there's blood here. Where'd he go? All right. Let's set this down. Blood there. Blood there. Blood there. All right, I'm gonna have to blood trail him out. No shells in my pocket. No shells in my gun. Okay. So we got blood. 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 Lots of blood there. Got blood down here. Got blood here. I mean, it's bleeding pretty good for a freaking squirrel. Oh, there he is, right there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright. Here we go. Another black squirrel. Next four black ones. And two gray scrolls. Ugh. That is crazy. I'm just happy we found this guy. Blood trailed him right out. Seems like uh seems like I hit him where I didn't want to. Hit him in the back end. Which is not good for a squirrel. Except where the food's at. 
I mean the blood trail. Trail deer with less blood than this thing. All right. Just got those two last ones there. I am uh, currently out of bullets. It has been some piss poor shooting on my part. But uh, yeah, out of bullets. And we need one more squirrel. So I'm gonna double back to the truck, grab a couple more shells, see if we can find one more before too long but if not that's all right with me too we got six that's plenty to eat and um let me tell you i'm freaking starving it's about 12 30 lunchtime and i haven't eaten anything yet today so i'm ready to eat some freaking squirrel that's for sure it's been a good squirrel hunt so far let me tell you there's nothing more than i love chasing me around some tree rat these things got me got me juiced up man brings me back to when i was a kid pretty much grew up hunting squirrels with my dad and it's awesome to get back out here and do it. I love it. Squirrel for dinner, man. Let's, uh, let's go find one more and get to go again. Just like so. That's squirrel number seven. Well, bam, thank you, ma'am. That one had me running. Yeah, most of the time you take off running, I can, you can tree them. These things weren't treeing. They were straight hauling ass. Squirrel number seven, that's a lemmy, boys. Holy bloodbath. Perfect headshot on that guy. There we go. Oh, all right. Oh, it's good. It's perfect timing. Cause I am freaking starving. Look at that. Another squirrel down. It took me longer to go back to the truck and get another shell. I did to come up here and shoot another squirrel. There's actually two of them up there playing around. I mean, dusted. Now you can see all the acorns, stuff chewed up in here. They've been in here a lot. That's the best place you could be for squirrels if you're looking for squirrels. There's uh, a lot of oak trees, and that's all. The, obviously, all this is. It's a pile of oak trees. They love them acorns. Usually this time of year it's covered up in two feet of snow, but it's wide open this year. 40 degrees, middle of February. It's freaking awesome. Okay, as you can tell, I got the old Coleman ready to go. Got the pot and the pan out. We are gonna clean up a couple of these squirrels. I'm only gonna do, I don't know, two or three of them. Don't need to do all of them. I'd like to save some for later. But, um, yeah. Caught some squirrels. I am going to clean a couple of these up. I'm not going to show you any of that because uh, YouTube obviously doesn't like it. But um, yeah, other than that, I'll uh, get a couple cleaned up and uh, we'll get to cooking. All right, all right. We just got done cleaning the squirrels. I mean, can you not tell me that just doesn't look like chicken wings, frog legs? We're gonna wash these up and um, do a little bit of a soak in Frank's Red Hot, roll them in flour back into Frank's Red Hot, and then deep fry them. But um, you'll see the process. Probably not gonna show you the whole thing. I'll fast forward it for you or something. But um, yeah, while I'm cleaning these squirrels, looks like I got six males and one female, which is pretty good, you know, because that keeps the population going. But uh, the males right now, because they're getting close to breeding season, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up real quick and um, we'll get to cooking. I'd say that's pretty freaking clean if you ask me. All right, we're gonna get a bag going real quick. Here we go, we've got some Franks. 
original red hot i know um you can definitely use the wing sauce i've done that a bunch of times if you want full flavor of frank's red you definitely use the original the wing sauce just i don't know it doesn't give it it doesn't give it the flavor i'm looking for it man so if i keep it with the original squirrel leg fully cleaned no hair on it well someone said no hair on it but there's a squirrel heart in the bag already into the Frank's Red Hot. And um, we cleaned three squirrels, so we're just gonna clean those up real quick. All right, squirrel is all washed up. In the bag, we, like I said, we're gonna give this like 10, 15 minutes. The longer you let it soak, the better you're gonna get the flavors, that's for sure. But um, I'm obviously not gonna stand here and wait an hour, standing in the woods. There you have it, squirrel in a bag, baby, let's go. Minimal hair in there. There's air doing there, but uh, yeah. here we go. We got those all ready to go. We're gonna give her a few minutes, like I said, and then we're going to uh, get the grease hot. I'm gonna throw a little frickin' Andy's fish fry in here. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little seasoning. I didn't bring any seasonings. Usually I uh, season the squirrel first, but um, didn't do that, <laughs> so. I'm gonna throw a little Andy's fish fry in there. I always carry that in the truck. You never know when you need a pop of catch and cook. And um, all purpose flour. This is gonna make a disaster. You can already tell. But, uh, yeah. All purpose flour. Some all purpose flour. And uh, yeah, we'll just give that a shake. Shake that up nice. Usually I just put my seasonings um, mixed in with the flour just like I did with the fish batter. Um, or lightly season the squirrel once they're uh, before they go in or after they come out. Give them a dusting of some nice seasoning, your favorite seasonings, you know. But um, there we go, we got a little, little bit of color to the flour, which is a good. And um, yeah, our grease is warming up. Squirrel's still soaking in the franks. Like I said, we're gonna take them out, roll, pop them in there, shake them, pop them back in there real quick, shake them again, and um, double coat them, get that extra crispiness. If you're looking for extra crispy, double dunk them. Double dunk them. It's the only way to go. Try it here for the double dunk. Don't know how this is gonna work, but it's gonna be a mess. Either way, either way. Little flower wrap there. Oh, where'd the squirrel leg go? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Back into the frickin' Frank's Red. Back into the flower. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a disaster. Whoa, now we're freaking burning. Whoa, now we're gonna spill Frank's Red Hot all over my truck. All right, double coated, tap some of that off. Get him right in the grease, man. Get him right in the grease. We're gonna start with two legs first, just see what happens. Might, uh, might leave the double dunk behind on the next ones. I'm not sure, but I'm going for a heavy, a heavy coating here. Whoa, this is a disaster. Could have bring some cooking utensils. Probably just start doing catch and cooks like at my house or something. Be a lot easier, but whoa, we got a fire on aisle nine. They are fapping, snapping and a fapping. Holy whoa, burnt it already? That's not good. I don't like that. Whoa, you turn it down? Turn it. Oh, <laughs> that's why. Once you turn it down, turn it up. Yeah. First couple. Little toasted. Not gonna lie with you. 
little little toes here. They're gonna be a little on the cook side. That's all right. Now we're just gonna get some more going. Let's just get this mess over with, huh? I might try a couple of just a single dunk too. Let's see what that's all about. I'm gonna try a couple of the single dunks. We're gonna do some singles. The singles are where it's at. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it's uh, the double duck was the double dunk duck, why can't you even tell? If the double dunk was the ticket, it's too late now because we're single on a bunch of them. You don't want to burn them. You know what I mean? Oh, I can smell the Frank Red Hot though. I can smell that Frank Red Hot. Woo! Ooh, doggy. I mean, if there's anybody out in the woods right now, they smell this. They come. I think these two first ones are done. I mean, they're brown. And that was uh, not not the intentional me browning them, you know. I, I I didn't try and do that, but it happened. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take these ones off. See what's going on here. They look like they're done. I mean, on first glance, she's a little charred. But I'm guessing it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna let that cool down for a minute though. I'm not gonna bite into that right now. Looks pretty good. Looking a lot more like chicken wings though. I can tell you that for free. Um, yeah, I wanna cut one of these open actually just to see what it looks like. Oh man. Okay, I'll give the breading a good 8 out of 10, even though it's a little crispy. Um, that breading is freaking red hot and fire, let me tell you. Squirrel meat. Damn. <laughs> Damn, boy. That is good freaking squirrel right there. No taste of game, gamey taste or anything. Tastes like a freaking spicy chicken wing. The double dunk. Might have been a little heavy on the hot sauce, that's for sure. But um, coated nice. The breading is gorgeous. The meat is definitely done. That tastes phenomenal. And uh, yeah, that's very good. Like I said, a little spicy, but maybe the double dunk wasn't uh, wasn't where it was at. All right. I think we're going to take one of these off. These have to be done. We don't want to overcook the squirrel. He's already... Squirrel, I mean, obviously it's going to be a little bit chewier than you would get your uh, chicken, obviously. You know, it's a tree rat. It's all they use is their legs all day to climb trees and run around. So, it's obviously going to be a little bit chewier. But, um, yeah, here's the first ones again. You know, good good form. Little little on the overdone side. That's because I accidentally turned the oil up instead of down. But um yeah, it's got these nice white dots all over it. Looks like a freaking general towels piece of chicken, you know. It's really good, really good. I already ate one of those, but um look at this guy. That's one of the little ones. Oh, now we're talking. This looks like a freaking piece of chicken from KFC. It's got that beautiful breading on it. 
We'll let that one cool down for a second. We'll give her a rip ski. Super pumped about that. Whoa, easy there, killer. This one we kind of lost the breading on, but it's all right. He's probably got enough red hot soaked into him that he'll be good. Put the knife up there. All right. Frank's red hot squirrel legs shot just a little while ago, eating them in the same woods that we shot them in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, oh, it's hot. Oh, it's just delicious, though. Just absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There you have it. That is a wrap on that today. So the double dunk might have been a little too much. I'd keep it with a symbol dunk. Symbol? Sing I'd keep it with a single dunk. That seemed uh, to work plenty good. But um, yeah, I'm going to clean this up. Figured I'd switch it up and do a little squirrel hunting. Like I said, this is something not a lot of people do anymore. And a lot of people don't like it. But um, I grew up squirrel hunting and eating squirrels. And let me tell you, I freaking love it. And uh, it brings me back to when I was a kid, you know, running around the woods with my BB gun chasing squirrels. But now I just do it with a browning shotgun and really mow them down but um yeah we got our limit today not a bad day i'm pretty pumped about it i think it's time to get back on the ice and do what we do best catch some fish eat some fish and uh make it happen so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of martial outdoors as always i don't know where i'll be next maybe in the woods maybe on the ice catching something shooting something doing something dumb you guys stay freaking good